My dear friends of Earth, you are light workers and part of my team and as I speak things are moving forward in the right direction. And what is the right direction? From my point of view it is towards a peaceful and caring world for you to live in. Faith hope and love are major ingredients in the world we want to help you build. And two other very crucial and extremely important ingredients are thankfulness and compassion, holy rays from the etherical heart. So you are on the way, into the right direction, and in your heart you know it and feel it too. It is a bumpy ride. Yes it is. It does not come easy. But you need to keep your faith in your inner room in your heart. You must stand guard and fight to keep your faith in a good world to live in, it is a war between the good and the bad. You can now see the result of the bad divisions, they can no longer hide their agendas, it is out in the open for you to see and foremost feel, that this is not the way of the good league. It is a choice. It is all about your free will. A good place to live in, a loving, caring world to live in comes from not participating in a bad one. Say no. Walk away. Walk in your own loving direction. And if you cannot walk away, say prayers for I hear you always, and I will be at your assistance. Inside of you, you have a wonderful blossoming garden with the most increased eatable flowers of love, of hope, and of faith. Never forget about this sacred place, for I can meet you there. Please tune into this sacred garden whenever you need positive energy and a lift in your daily life. It can actually make you invisible to others that are in lower dimensions. Some say mindset, I say heart set, this too is a free choice, to wander in your own sacred garden each day and create an expanding place of love, of hope, and of faith. You are making great progress as the hard-working light and love worker you are. Just don't forget to take a break every now and then visiting your inner beautiful sanctuary within your holy heart, I need to remind you that you need this nurturing from within where we the angels reach you and meet you to give you all the healing you need. Love each breath, think and feel the ten things, at least, in your life that you are grateful about, this is how you access me, and this is how you expand your inner sanctuary. I love you Michael.